Welcome back to Fast Market on the TD Ameritrade Network. I'm Tom White, joined by my co-host Kevin Hanks. But let's bring in our next guest for our cash tag segment, and that's going to be Andy Swan, the co-founder of Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. Hey, thanks. All right, so we're talking payments stocks, the darlings of the pandemic here. Uh, we already had PayPal uh, earnings come out earlier this week. They had activist investors getting involved in that company. Elliott, Elliott Management, but then also $15 billion share buyback. The stock's done well post-earnings, but Square is down about 46% this year. It's down about nearly 70% from all-time highs just a year ago. Uh, this one's been struggling, but I think it's more tied to crypto, Andy. Is that what you guys are seeing? And do you have any data that says, hey, maybe PayPal's winning uh, with Venmo as opposed to maybe the Cash App not doing as well as previous? Yeah, I, th I think, you know, uh, Block is up, uh, and I, I have a tough time calling it Block. Yeah, it's still I, square to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, too. yeah, Block is up over 20% of the last five days, buoyed a lot by, you know, market rebound and PayPal's uh, earnings report. And I think um, there's a little bit of fear, at least in my mind, that um, Block may have gotten ahead of itself in this situation. And really, really for two reasons. First of all, you nailed it uh, when you talked about uh, their exposure to cryptocurrency. I think it's one of the, uh, you know, it's one of the drivers of their revenue. In fact, it was 43% of their revenue um, last quarter came from cryptocurrencies. And quite frankly, we're seeing PayPal really start to win that war as well. Um, you know, PayPal has a, a little broader offering than, uh, than Block does. And, and at the end of this chart, what you can really see, uh, it's Block in the orange and PayPal in the blue. And this is the number of people just talking about using these apps for cryptocurrency uh, usage. And uh, and Block really falling off over the last four or five months. And when it's such a big driver of a company's revenue, you really don't want to see them ceding ground to a competitor like this. I think that the cryptocurrency market uh, pullback has really hurt Block. I think that'll show through in earnings. And then the other thing that, that concerns me about, uh, about Block going into earnings tonight is, again, they seem to be losing to PayPal on the peer-to-peer uh, -peer payment uh, front as well. So when we look at you know, Cash App uh, versus Venmo, uh, we're seeing strength in Venmo. We're seeing uh, a lot of people moving to that platform, a lot of adoption uh, of that platform in the data that we have, whereas Cash App uh, much more uh, waning at this point, and, and there's a divergence there. And when we see that kind of divergence, it tells us that at least, you know, over the re over the uh, last 90 days, uh, you know, Venmo has been winning, PayPal has been winning against Block, and so uh, I I'm concerned going into this with with Block rallying up over 20% in the last five days going into earnings, and a lot of that based on PayPal's success. I do think that there's, uh, you know, a, a little bit of uh, risk here that the veil comes off a little bit of block and they and they have to kind of admit that PayPal may be winning this battle at least over the last quarter or two. Two things I want to uh, look at here, Andy. The first one is that one that you started to mention. I don't know anyone that uses Cash App. I know a lot of my children, their friends, even adults my age that do use Venmo. So the question there is, is it a regional thing? Am I just doing that because maybe I'm in the, in the Midwest and there's other regions of the country that is using more cash app? Or is, like you said, is Venmo doing a better job? And the other thing is crypto. Are we in the early stages? I always want to make sure that I don't overreact to it. Like crypto has moved down. A lot of volumes have dried up. A lot of, but but we could be in the early stages of crypto. We don't know for sure that this might just be, you know, a, a down move that is the ultimate buy for crypto. And all these right. companies are going to do well long term. What are you seeing in terms of Venmo ver versus Cash App and crypto? You know, uh, real problem versus maybe just the early innings. Yeah, well, you know, what's interesting is Venmo versus Cash App. It used to be um, that Cash App had not only more mentions, but a happier user base, according to like Folio data. And Venmo has really closed that gap. They're equally, uh, the, the consumer base between the two is equally happy, which I think is a big 
uh, factor for PayPal and for Venmo. They've done a really nice job. On the cryptocurrency side, I do think um, that it's that it's probably early innings. I think that Block uh, will come out and say, look, this isn't something that we got into just for a couple of quarters uh, revenue. This is something that we're in uh, for the long haul. And overall, I think both these companies have a really nice tailwind when it comes to just the whole digital wallet revolution. You know, when we see people talking about adopting this kind of uh, digital wallet uh, technology, um, that is a trend that is, you know, not only growing, but but accelerating at a really nice pace. It's one I don't see slowing down anytime soon. So I think both these companies have great tailwinds. I actually like them both a lot uh, long term. It's just in the short term, I'm very concerned that um, that square that square block, whatever you want to call them, is giving up ground to PayPal and is losing that battle. And uh, it could be a, a, a comeback story for PayPal because a lot of people had written that company off, uh, at least in terms of growth, uh, a year ago, and it looks like um, you know they're starting to catch on with the consumer in a big way. Yeah, and Andy, I look at it this way: you know, Dorsey changes the name; he hasn't changed the ticker symbol yet. We still call it Square sometimes; it's Block, right? They're trying to tie themselves into this asset class, which is highly unregulated at this point. There's a lot of uncertainty sw uh, surrounding it. Uh, we've had some hacks on it. We've had some bankruptcies within the crypto space as a whole. But then I look at the activist investor type of involvement in PayPal. They've got over 400 million people using over 45 different, uh, you know, silos of revenue generation out of PayPal, right? Square Block has a couple, right? The Cash App and the Square App for small businesses. Now they're doing well on that side of it. Is this, is this one of those discussions that investors should look at when, uh, or have when investing in a company like Square is, where's their growth coming from, who the competitors are, who's doing better in this, and what's the final outcome based on that they're tying themselves to this cryptocurrency so hard when I don't, yep. I don't know if a lot of investors thought they needed to do that initially? Yeah, you know, I think um, at this point, Block has kind of become a proxy for cryptocurrency investment, mm -hmm. kind of the same way, um, you know, Coinbase is, and that sort of thing. I'm not sure they really wanted to be that tied to it. I think that their initial success in cryptocurrency is now kind of holding them back. Um, but, you know, overall, I do think that you, you, as an investor, you have to think, am I interested in companies that service the cryptocurrency market? If so, then Block is a very viable uh, competitor in that space. PayPal uh, also is a viable competitor. I think the diversification that you get from PayPal is much greater uh, than, than you're getting with Block, like you're saying. Um, so I think you really just have to take, these, these two companies are very similar in that they're both in a growing space that could change the world, and I, I, and I really think that's possible. But, um, but right now, uh, PayPal's out executing Square in terms of uh, consumer adoption and consumer happiness. That's where the consumer is going right now. I think we give up the leg up to, to PayPal right now if you're looking to choose between the two. All right. Uh, do you have an earnings score going into this report, uh, Andy? Yeah, I, I, I really think that, that there's significant risk to the downside for Square, especially given the, the rally that they've had over the last five days. All right, significant risk. I like it. Great data as usual, Andy. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. All right, that's Andy Swan, the co-founder of Likefolio, breaking down the data on Block ahead of their earnings. Kev.